Hello guys, uh, if you are here, it is Zaley Barclay of ZaleyBarclay.com. Welcome to the Cutting Room Floor series. Uh, let me just make sure that my audio is actually okay, right? Yes, I think so. I hope my audio is good today, guys. Uh, last week my audio was a little bit off, but we are going to have some fun today. So welcome to the Cutting Room Floor series. I am Zaley Barclay. I am a video coach. I love helping people to really perfect their visual presence so that you're able to attract more paid opportunities and unlock different revenue streams. One of the revenue streams that I am really passionate about talking about is online courses, and I'm also a Thinkific expert, and I've helped other people launch their own online course experience in the online space. So I'm excited to be here. Um, the Cutting Room Floor series is a series of, I would say, uh, things that nobody really ever talks about in the online space. And I figured, why not share, right? Why not share these things, um, talk to you guys about these things, and, you know, have live conversations so that um, we're able to be transparent about them. So this kind of actually started from my Instagram. Uh, I like sharing this kind of content on my Instagram and I just decided to extend it and, you know, come on with you guys every single Sunday. Usually I send out an email. I did not send out an email this Sunday because I was super busy. I'm currently moving into a whole new space. Um, my partner moved from New York City to Dallas. So it's been a lot going on on the back end. And uh, this week, I've had so many beautiful, amazing live experiences working with brands that I've admired from day one, right? So Adobe was one of those brands. Last week, we had um, a partnership with HoneyBook and Thinkific, a partnership, a partnered stream. It was really, really cool. So a lot of things happening on the back end. So I had two days live with Adobe. And then I'm also doing the Thinkific Accelerator. If you are in the Accelerator, let me know that you're here. Um, if you are here, please say hello. This is a live stream. It's so funny. A lot of times people come on during lives and they're like, oh my gosh, you're actually live. So yes, say hello. Um, and I will have my comments up. If you see me looking down, it's because my computer is right below me. And so I want to make sure that you guys can hear me and see me and that we have a vibe going on for this evening as well. So let me tell you. Whew. Tomorrow is moving day, so that's gonna be a bit of a thing. It's gonna disrupt my workflow a bit this week because you know moving from one space to another is always it's always a lot going on with that. Um, but I'm so so excited. It feels like a whole new beginning in the middle of the new in the middle of the year, and I feel like I need a bit of a reset. Let me know in the comments if you've been feeling like you need a bit of a reset um, in your life, right? Because of all that we've been going through with uh, you know the virus, the pandemic, all of these things. Hey. I Hello, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Um, we're a little bit late this Sunday, but we are here nevertheless. And that was my goal. So I'm so happy to have you here. <laughs> All right, guys. So today we are talking about how um, a lot of people, so this is a thing. Because I am a video coach, I get to tap into talking to people about their deepest fears as it pertains to business. So two things I get are the emotional fears that we all go through. So fear of not succeeding, so fear of failing, fear of failure, um, and fear of success. Like what if this thing blows the lid off of everything? Oop, sorry guys, my earring fell off, I guess. We will not be wearing uh, earrings during this live. But yes, yeah, so, well, let me take the other one off. Oh, actually, I found it. <laughs> hey, Journey with Jay. <laughs> she said, uh, Jay said, I need a whole do-over. Yes, it's it's been a, a bit of a year, right? Even my earring thought so. Um, let me open back up my comments to talk to you guys. But yes, hey, love, I'm so happy to have you here. So yeah, I feel like... It's been so crazy. It's been a lot going on and just a lot of reflection. And I shared some videos uh, that are also specific to the Cutting Room Floor series where uh, we spoke about, which was either last week or week before, which we spoke about 
um, asking God for something. So a lot of us ask God, like, yo, I, God, I need to, I, I'll be saying, yo, because I'll be having some real conversations with God, you know, I need to slow down or I need to, I need time to figure things out. And I feel like that's what the pandemic did, right? Hello, budget boss coupons. <laughs> Happy to have you here. Um, and so that's the thing. When, when I'm video coaching, I hear things from the side that pertains to the business aspect or sorry, the emotional aspect of starting a business or showing up on camera. But I also get to hear the physical sides. So usually the emotional sides come out that, you know, I'm afraid of success. I'm afraid of failure. Um, I'm afraid of people around me finding out what I do, or I'm afraid of a failing in front of a lot of people, or I'm afraid of, I don't know, so, tell me some things that you're afraid of down in the comments. Um, I know for me, when I first started, I was afraid of a lot of things. And I think my fear more leaned on fear of succeeding. Like what would life look like when I became successful? How would things change? Would people still like me? All of those things. But today what we're really talking about is the actual factual fear of, or not even fear of, but ways that your physical appearance is keeping you back from showing the heck up right? And we're going to talk about being present in wherever you are on your journey. Um, and I'm going to share a few things with you guys that I've never shared before, right? But Asya said, I'm afraid of putting myself out there. Yes, Asya. And you know what? That's a lot of people because, and so anytime someone tells me that, I ask you to dig deeper. Like, why are you afraid of putting yourself out there? I like the why, 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 why? Like, let's keep asking why. Like, why are you afraid to put yourself out there? I know for me, I used to be afraid, to, uh, afraid of putting myself out there for fear of saying the wrong thing. Um, for fear of sharing something that was probably too personal, for fear of not sharing um, what somebody else thought was correct. And then I realized that if I am going to coach and share with others, first of all, you're here because you trust something about me and you trust something about my journey and you found me somehow and what I share is based on how you found me or most people I ask, how do you find me? Um, it's either through uh, YouTube, searching for something on YouTube. A lot of people come to Instagram and say, Zaylee, I found you because I was searching for this and that. That is intentional for me, right? I position myself in specific ways so people can find me. Um, thinking Color, if you found me through Thinking Color, that is a, a partnership that bloomed based on video content. So everything that I teach really are things that I've done my way, but you've seen me um, grow and glow from them, right? I've been full-time in my business for the past three years. So for me, it's like, when I think about, um, when I think about the things that stopped me from doing what I wanted to do, um, it really came back to those things, right? Like, you know, what if I say the wrong thing? What, I'm, what if I'm teaching the wrong thing? But as you elevate in business, you start realizing that, hey, um, I am actually qualified to share what I'm sharing. I do what I'm sharing every single day. Um, I've been doing this for a very long while, right? Um, and well, actually, so if you, if you are new here, I started in the online space uh, between 2007 and 2009, because I started and stopped a lot, right? And so I went completely full-time in 2015. So I just had three years, but it's been five years. But I've been making a sustainable income for three years, like, you know, where I can just live the way I want to live and not be nervous about this or that. Um, and so that's really, yes, in order to clarify that timeline. Right. And so what I teach and share are things that are tried and true and that have worked for my students, my clients and obviously myself. So it's, it's like when you are growing, you start understanding like, hey, I there comes a time when you don't think my main goal is not to be liked by everyone. My main goal is to take people to the next level, the people that want to be here. And so that kind of helps me eliminate that fear of, oh, what if I say the wrong thing? Or what if I do the wrong thing? Or what if I teach the wrong thing? Then th there's no way that that can happen because, well, let me, let me step back a little bit. Yes, that can happen, but 
well not yes that can happen you are here to learn from me that's the thing and i teach differently from someone else that you might know or might have seen or um and they teach something different from me but so basically there are a few ways to get to a solution right which is what i'm trying to say but a lot of times we let things like that keep us back like being afraid of putting yourself out there asia like i totally get that um but you you kind of have to ask yourself well, why is that and for me that was really based on um well first of all if we're talking about video i always tell you guys i'm trinidadian so i was born in trinidad lived in new york for 12 years and then i moved to dallas texas so i have a mismatch a mixed match <laughs> of accents going on and that used to terrify me at first. Now I don't care. So it's like you put yourself out there and you get a muscle with it. You know, sometimes people tell me they love my accent. So being able to get to a point where people love that about me, I never, ever, ever thought that would happen. So that's thing one. Um, thing two is I used to be so... Uh, nervous about my smile, right? Because I have an overbite, right? And so it's funny because I was talking to someone in the comments on IG about this. I um, mean, they were telling me that they have an underbite. And I was like, well, I have an overbite. And I had to get over that and still show up, right? So there are things that are going to kind of um, get in the way. But but, but, but what I've been trying to say all this time is that regardless of it's, if it's an emotional blockage or fear that you're having, which is, um, like Asia said, fear of putting herself out there, or it's, uh, what would we call that? A physical blockage. It all really comes down to the fact that you're afraid of what someone is going to say about you if you put yourself out there, whether it be on camera or whether it be you having a business, right? So sometimes our fear is not really only based on, oh my gosh, I'm going to disappoint myself if I fail, but I'm going to fail in front of a lot of people. And we don't understand that that's always more than likely the push that we need. Like failure is so essential, right? Um, and so for me, I remember in 2014, 2013 or 2014, I, I, I started on Instagram and being on Instagram, um, I've always shared my weight journey, right? So this is going back to physical again. I've always shared my weight journey. And so I've, since I was a kid, I would fluctuate in weight, right? So I would gain weight and I was, would lose weight. I would gain weight. But because of that fluctuation as a kid, when I started growing into a teenager, I learned how to navigate through that, right? Um, I learned how to navigate through uh, weight loss and, you know, I know what to do when I need to lose weight. Um, and I obviously, not even obviously, but as a teenager, I definitely went through that phase of eating disorders and, uh, bulimia and, you know, like just trying to do anything to be skinny. Um, and that was a horrible stage until I started growing into adulthood. And, and I could talk about these things now because I've shared it with my parents. Um, but growing into adulthood, I then realized that I can't continue doing that to my body. I started becoming really conscious about being healthy in the right way. And the reason I share all of this is because my weight kept me off of camera for a long while, right? And so even like now I get conscious, it's, we're quarantining, I've gained a lovely extra 10 pounds. And even, even though someone else may not see it or think that I have, I personally know that I have. So it kind of stops me from wanting to be on camera, right? Um, and so I'm sharing things that I know other people might be going through as well, right? Um, and that's why I'm sharing it. Let me see. Cindy said, I was afraid to, I just went for it. It gets easier if you keep doing it. That is so true. I have a live every week. Like we are here every week. So true. Um, and which is the best platform for this? I used to do it on IG, now either Zoom or Webinar Jam. Uh, Cindy, it really depends on your business goals. And I'll answer you in more depth during the Q&A because that's a really, really good question and I'm so happy you asked it. Um, was thinking of YouTube. I don't know which is best to interact with my community who are parents. I like having a replay for those who can't make it. I've been posting the replay on my website. That's a really good question, Cindy. Uh, and I'm going to answer you in a bit. It really depends on your business goals. But let me just walk through um, this. Yeah, 
addressing your physicals, <laughs> right? Or the things that are stopping you. And it's kind of like every Monday you are going to tell yourself, well, you know, I will uh, lose weight next week so I can actually start a business next week or, um, or, or next month. Or you wait for that Monday to come. Like, you know what? I will get on things next Monday. So by the end of the month, I'll be able to show up and start that business. And, um, and, and things like that. Like we do think about, like maybe when I learn to do my makeup, I'll be confident enough to start that business or, or, and when I say start that business, I mean like if you know that having a successful business entails that you show up for yourself, for your business and for your customers or your, your audience, whoever you're talking to. And it's like, we let so many of these things stop us from actually doing what needs to be done. And one thing I want to share is that when you are going through something like that, a lot of times it's really internal, which is a lot of what I speak about on the cutting room floor every Sunday. It's because it's really an internal decision that you need to make that you are going to start showing up as your best self so that you can give your best self to whatever else it is that you are doing. It's kind of like um, if I am a hairstylist and I don't keep my hair all the way together, every th time I walk into the salon, I might not be, you know, feeling the best amongst the other stylists who are in the same salon, um, you know, and they are marketing themselves. They are, obviously you are a billboard if you are a hairstylist. If your hair looks amazing, then people are gonna come to you. Um, and then you can do those people's hair and get testimonials from, or, you know, references from them. And so it kind of flows in that way so um, a lot of times we're keeping ourselves back when we can solve the problem right and then it's also about embracing what is special about you or beautiful about you and still pushing through anyway and it takes a lot of us undoing things that we have heard or things that we've developed or really honestly these thoughts are about yourself right um, you know, if, if I didn't tell you a few things that I told you, you know, a little while ago that stopped me from doing video, you would never think that, right? <laughs> so that is me sharing my story to encourage you guys to get over whatever it is that is keeping you back from showing up on camera and marketing your business and selling your products and services confidently. You're always going to have something that is in your way and I really want you to become present and write down the reasons why you aren't showing up as your best self or as your most successful self because it's something in here or on here that is stopping you, right? And what you have to do is put whatever you are uh, feeling or do. Your, first of all, your feelings are not facts. That's the first thing that I want you to really understand. I love that my leak teal, that's who I got that from. She always says that. Feelings are not facts, so don't feel like the things that you are thinking about yourself are actually true, right? Um, you have to learn to push through those things. So, um, yeah, I really wanted to share that. Let me see if I, because I actually have a list for this video. Um, let me see if there's anything else that I wanted to share, anything you guys want to share with me this week. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, yeah, let me see, I don't have, yeah, so I had, well, first of all, body image is one thing that keeps us back, so you have to really tap into, it's kind of a balance of, um, just being aware of who you are, um, and the journey, and, and really tapping into the fact that if you don't like who you are, what you look like now, there's always room to improve and make that better, or there's always room to become self-aware and accept yourself and love yourself for who you are. And I had to go through that. Um, and because of what we see on the internet, we see, we, we end up hating ourselves a lot, and that is something that um, I think that we all probably go through, right? Whether it's based on, um, what you've been achieving or not achieving enough as everyone else or looking like everyone else because there's also the internet aesthetic or the Instagram body, right? There's so many things that um, we can factor in. 
that I don't want you guys to keep you keep use these things to keep you yourselves back from what you're what you're really meant to do and your purpose and what you were put here to do because that's the bottom line you know what you were put here to do right um so yeah that's that's really what I wanted to share today. Um, Cindy said, okay, Cindy, I'm going to read your question over again, right? And I'm probably going to, yes, budget boss coupons. I hope so, because a lot of people think that we have to be so perfect on YouTube, um, being perfect on camera. And if that's not in, in, in or a part of what you are doing, then it shouldn't be something that you are um, really putting at the forefront because it's going to stop you from showing up right? Let me see. Uh, okay, Cindy. So I'm putting this here. Um, you saying I was afraid to, but then I just went for it. It gets easier as you keep doing it. That is definitely a fact, right? Um, and where did it go? Wait. So you're asking, uh, what, so you do go live every, uh, every week, which platform is best for this? Okay. So live streams, I'm sorry guys, I'm sitting on the floor and my feet are like cramping up. Uh, so live streams are really important. They're really great for building community with your people, right? Um, so live streams like you're doing, Cindy, can have two reasons, right? So that's why I say it depends on your business goals. So the first thing is that you want to... Um, Figure out like, what is the reason I'm doing this? Am I doing this so that I can collect email addresses and sell something to these parents later on, right? So is it more of a lead magnet? So come to my free live, give me your email, you'll get access to it um, and you'll get an, a replay email to you if you missed it. So that's the first thing. Or is it to attract new people, right? And build community. So if it's to attract new people and build community and help them understand that you are an expert or this is your expertise. Um, for me, I do these lives for community. I want to get to know my people, talk with them, have conversations. But in September, I'm also relaunching. So I used to do this live co-working session that I'm going to do that is more like, um, you know, sign up here and we will email you times so that you can come work with us and ask questions and bring your questions to the table. It's like a virtual co-working session that I used to do and I'm bringing it back. So that's the difference. This live on Sunday is for me to get to know you guys better. Let's talk, let's chat. Let's be real. I'm sitting on my living room floor and we are just meeting. Um, I'm getting to know you guys better. And as every Sunday that goes by and people come back, they become part of my like, like it's like I'm getting prepared and I'm like, I wonder if Ozzy is going to be here tonight or, you know, so I start getting to know you guys. We start building a relationship. So it kind of is like you have to understand what and you can do both or you can just do one. So you have to think about what it's for. The second thing is um, if it's for parents, right? Um, I would say think about where your audience is, right? So when we think about parents, are they more than likely on Facebook um, sharing pictures of their family and their kids? Um, I feel like Facebook is a bit easier, especially also for sharing. Um, if you have a live stream going on and you tell people share on Facebook, um, that is a good option as well. Um, YouTube lives, I feel like YouTube lives are more for community as well. Like the people that are already following you. Like I said, my goal is to get to know you guys better. Usually I also do this on two pages. So sometimes I will get on, sorry guys, I'm trying to plug in my computer. Sometimes I will actually get on, um, restream.io right? Which is a really cool platform where you can stream in both places. So sometimes I'm talking to you guys, but I'm also talking to Facebook. Tonight I just streamed on YouTube. So I'll take this link and actually share it over on Facebook um, so that people can talk to me and communicate there as well. But if you use Restream, your comments will be coming from Facebook and it will be coming from um, YouTube as well. So you can do it that way. And I think Restream also streams to LinkedIn. It streams to a lot of different places. Um, and you said, I don't know which is best to interact with my community. Yes. So we covered that, right? 
And um, I like having a replay for those who can't make it. I've been posting the replay on my website. Yeah, and you know what? Like when you think about what I'm doing, this is gonna be live on my channel. It's gonna stay on my channel. Um, it may garner views, it, it may not. That's why really understanding the goal for your video content is a huge thing because um, we're here chatting and just talking and my lives are really for community, right? So um, it may not garner views for people outside of our community. I have other videos that are much more searchable that do that. And then if you end up binging, then you end up watching one of these videos where, you know, where I'm talking with the people that, you know, are subscribed to me and do chit chat with me all the time or do comment on my videos or are on other platforms as well. So that's kind of what creates the difference. So. Cindy, knowing, and I hope you're here still, knowing exactly what you want to do with your live streams, whether it's community building, whether it's building your email list, that's kind of what makes the difference. But it's really good having it on your website as well. Um, having the replay on the website is always, also, also always helpful. You know, you can just grab, like later on, I can grab my URL from this YouTube and put it over on uh, my website. <laughs> so Zoom, using Zoom would be more of a content um, upgrade or a lead magnet where, you know, you put that email sign up list and they can come in. Um, let me know if that makes sense, Cindy. I hope that helped. Um, but yeah, so that's really it, guys. I wanted to just come in and connect with you. Um, this week is pretty wild. What do you guys have planned for this week? I want to know, like, what do you have planned for this week? What do you have going on this week? That's another thing that I want to kind of connect with you guys. I don't know if I'll do it within this series specifically where I kind of share, um, what I, and I asked about this in the community tab. I love talking to you guys there as well. Um, I'm not sure. I have to figure out how I'm going to do it. If I am going to have a separate Sunday morning video where I talk to you guys about our goals for the week and we keep ourselves accountable as we move through, or if I'm going to do it at the beginning of every cutting room floor series video. I don't know. I don't know. I got to think about that. Um, if you have thoughts about it, let me know. Cause I feel like, you know, having a community that is, accountable and we're coming back and sharing like what we have planned for the week because a lot of times when we're working on business we forget the bigger goal we forget the bigger goal we forget the the thing that uh the big thing that we're working towards or big thing that we're working on and how we can chunk down and work backwards and make sure that we're still meeting those goals as the week passes by as the month passes by as the quarter passes by as the year passes by right so yeah, let me know in the comments, like, how do you feel about that? Uh, let me see. Awesome, Cindy. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you here. Uh, let, let me see. Budget Boss Coupon said, question, is it good to plan out live something? Sometimes I just do it random. Yes. So one thing people who teach live streaming don't necessarily teach you to do that, especially like I know that I, and even moving into um, the next quarter, I'm gonna be much more intentional about our cutting room floor sessions. Um, but yes, be intentional about your lives. Like even if you know you're going live four times for the month, which is once every week, pre-plan what you're gonna talk about. That's why you guys see me looking down sometimes because I have a full-blown list uh, because, I always like, I'll sit down and brainstorm content. And so I have like a full blown list of videos based on different topics that I can just uh, make sure that I'm typing them out. Like, you know, um, for example, next week we, we may speak about flow states and the importance of getting in flow before you do your work, you know, because I feel like that is something that nobody ever talks about. Everybody makes it sound like they're workaholics and things come so easy. And for me, sometimes I have to get into a flow state. So I might need to prepare in a specific way so that I can really sit down and zone in and focus on work. It might entail putting my phone away. It might entail me having a cup of coffee. It might entail me, um, you know, uh, what do you call that? Like using a diffuser with peppermint oil to stimulate my brain. And I have so many others that I can share with you guys too. But yes, so plan your lives out. I feel like when you plan your lives out, it's just so much better. And then 
the other thing is that if you, so you guys know, I like to, so we come in with something that we talk about so that we can connect, right? Um, okay, Asia, I got you. <laughs> Asia always tells me what she wants, so that way I can add it into my list of videos. So we will be touching on that. Maybe we'll touch on that next Sunday. Um, but yes, so for me, making sure that uh, my lives are keyword searchable. That's one thing. Like if you ever took my video pro organization and planning course, which is free on the website over at zaleybarclay.com, um, I, I speak about that. So being intentional about the types of content that you're creating, and I share five types of content that you should be creating. And um, I also talk about live streams in there. So making sure that it's keyword searchable, that it's really based on something that can um, keep giving to your channel, right? So that's one thing. So you might have an idea for a video, but example, this video may end up in the body positivity section of, of YouTube, you know, but I'm speaking about body positivity as it pertains to business because I know it stops a lot of people and I know it stopped me for a long, long time. And that is something that I go in and out of as well, right? So yes, I would say plan your lives out. And if I can tell you something else, let's say you're doing a product launch of some sorts, then you wanna plan your live streams around your money. So if you, for example, you have something that you're launching next month, uh, plan your live streams around that, right? Um, Cindy, that is a really good question. One that I would really have to sit down and go through. I also have, um, what do I have based on that? I'm trying to think if I have anything free about that. So if we could quickly kind of break down being keyword searchable, um, example, so this is a good example. Um, I was creating a video some time ago and it was a video based on showing inside of one of my Thinkific courses, right? So it's on my channel and it's called um, an example of a Thinkific course. Now, when I say keyword searchable or when I'm thinking about SEO, which is search engine optimization, I remember when I was first looking into Thinkific years ago, I think that's like five years ago now, um, one thing that I could not find, I like it, like I could not find it at all. It was an example of a Thinkific course. So what do you think I made my video? An example of a Thinkific course. Cause I was showing how I create courses for Thinkific inside of my own course, like showing you, giving you a walk along at, at, about what it looked like. And so um, now this is also a video that gets a lot of traction from people that are looking to build online courses. So what happens is that I have a preview of um, a feature when Thinkific came to Dallas, which is where I live. Um, I was part of a workshop they did and had a really awesome conversation about online courses. So I prefaced that video with that footage of that vlog. And so, all of that to say, whenever someone searches, um, you know, an example of a Thinkific course, like I don't know, like when you come in, you may not know what that's supposed to look like. And so I showed inside of mine. And so that's being keyword searchable. I could have done that live as well, right? If I was doing it live, I would think about, okay, so the first thing is that I want to make a video and just show what my course looks like, first thing. Second thing is that I want people to be able to find this video. So I have to think about how is my person thinking or what are they typing in, right? Um, you know, people might type in how to make a course inside of Thinkific. So that's where your keywords really start coming in, right? So before you go live, um, budget boss coupons, which I would love to know your name, <laughs> right? Um, before you actually go live, you can think about all these things and actually make your live stream pop like make it so that it stays on your channel and it's actually a video video that you don't have to edit <laughs> right <laughs> but that's the thing so if you think about it in that way then you're able to um, 
make it searchable. Um, for There are diff different apps that you can use, Cindy. There is TubeBuddy, which is really awesome. There is VidIQ, that is really awesome. And I also love using my YouTube search bar. So go into your YouTube search bar, um, and I love showing people like how to do research in there, and I'll probably share that in another video. So the cool thing is that I'm live with you guys, and I'm learning more about what you want on the channel that I can definitely create. So um, use your YouTube search bar, type in whatever it is that you're looking for, and YouTube will finish up the sentence with what other people have been asking as well. That's a great way to do research. That's the first place I do research in. I type in the question, and I change around the ways that I type it. Like I'll type it in, in like how uh, example of a Thinkific course, or um, how to make an online course, or like you, YouTube will actually finish it up for you, and that's a great way to like see what's out there, and it's a great way to see that hey, this is popular. People are looking for this thing. Shauna, it's so good to meet you, Shauna. My YouTube, is, my YouTube channel is Budget Boss Coupons. No, I thought so, but I love knowing knowing people's names, <laughs> and I think I've seen you here before. So, you know, you're you're part of the crew. So I want to be able to say, Hey, Shauna, you know, like when you come on, because that's just the way I am. I like talking to my people. Um, but yeah. Guys, if you are not following me over on IG, you can definitely do that. I'm Zaley Barclay over there. I'm Zaley Barclay everywhere. So if this is, this is your first time here live with us, definitely come through and say hi. Hey, Cassandra. <laughs> come through, say hi. Um, I also love talking to people in my DMs, right? If you guys have any more questions for me, I would love to answer them. If not, you know, we can get off. I just wanted to make sure that I came on and shared some love with you guys, shared a bit about getting over the things that you are struggling with as it pertains to your physical appearance. There are things that you cannot change and things that you can make better. Shauna, I know, I think I've seen you here before exactly. So I want to be able to say, hey, Shauna, when you come on. That's just how I do. It's okay, Cassandra. Yeah, I, I know you meant well. <laughs> so you guys can see that my window light is going away and I have one tiny light in front of me um, that I'm using, but yeah. So I don't know what my setup would look like next week, but we're committing, I'm committing to being here with you guys at 6.30 Central next week. If you wanna come through and say hello and um, you know, we could have a little kiki. Yes, and what did we say we were speaking about next week? Flow states, Asia said flow states. So um, hopefully I won't record that video before we get together, but I have so many videos. How often, Cassandra, we are doing, and we've been doing this for the past month or so, every Sunday, 6.30 Central, <laughs> right? I just come on and talk to you guys, um, share a little bit of what I have going on in my head about what I feel like people don't talk about enough of um, in the online space. And then we do a little Q and A after where I kind of get to know you guys better one and get to know like what you guys want to hear from me. I feel like this is the best way for us to do it. Right. Um, that interaction, but yeah, so that's how often I'm live. Do I have an affiliate link for Filmora? Yes, I do. I do. I do. I do. Um, let me check to see if it's, because I usually, I have, I think I have two. Let me see if I have the right one up and I'll um, drop it right in the comments. But I do. It's one thing that, let me see. Yeah, I do. I'll drop it into the comments, Cassandra. Boom. There it goes. <laughs> Right, uh, but yeah, that was a really good question. She was like, she, she, Cassandra, you came through. Like, listen, <laughs> do you have? Um, Shauna said, do you have a live stream program that you recommend? Yes, I do. Azia, you are the sweetest. Thank you for sharing your truth. Um, I do have, so I can actually, so uh, Shauna, I have that in a video. I actually share what I use for live streaming. Um, and what video is that? Let me see if I can drop that in the comments too. Um... I actually even show you my setup, right? Uh, let me see if I can find it. Um, I even show you my setup and how I live stream. It's funny, when you search your name, you see uh, people. 
if sometimes someone searches me and they add an E on the end of my name and it's like you see it like when you go into Google you'll see that it says Zaylee L I E. <laughs> um, all right. Yes. So, Shauna, I I use Ecam. I do love using Ecam. It's what I use right now. I like that I can stream. I can stream through my Canon, so I still have high quality picture. I can connect my microphone and still have good sound. Um, I can adjust what that looks like. So that's one thing that I do love. Um, it's, it's getting dark, guys. So sorry about that, but you know, I, I don't mind staying on and answering questions. Um, and so I actually love it because I'm able to make it do what I want to do. I can use Restream, like I said before, and stream um, through Ecamm. I can use Restream and stream on Facebook and on YouTube at the same time and on a few other different platforms at the same time, which means that I'm going live in different places and I really love that. Uh, there are so many things I love about Ecamm. So I share in that video, I actually share what my setup looks like and how I use it. And I even actually use Ecamm to, to, sh to record video content as well. Cause you could record content in there. You can go live, you can do different things. So I love using it to even record my videos. So like, let's say I got all dressed up on Sunday. Um, I can still, well, I'll relight the setup because the sun is going down outside my window, but I will relight the setup and use the same space and record something for you guys and upload it through Ecamm as well. Um, the only thing is Ecamm is really for Mac. So yeah, that's the only thing. So, yeah, but you can also use, um, you can also do this through Zoom as well because you can stream through Zoom. Yes, and the Canon M50 is the camera that I really recommend to people off the bat. So that is awesome that you have that, Shauna, right? Uh, Cassandra said, great, we'll look into it. Do you have a mentorship or coaching program? It's, uh, if so, please send me a link or... Um, think if thinking color, Cassandra, I have a few things coming up. Um, if you are on my email list, you will see what I have coming up. So I'm re, uh, reopening the Starshoot Grow Video Academy. People have been asking forever. So that is coming pretty soon. I can't tell you the exact date, but if you, um, are signed up, you will get all of that information. So if you're on my email list, you will as well. Um, you'll get all that information. We're heading into 2021 with everything on point. So I will be sharing like how you can work with me because that's the main question that everyone is asking right now. Zaylee, what's going on? How can we work with you? So I will be sharing that pretty soon. Um, I just want to move and get life settled again and then, you know, dive back into it. So within, I would say the next uh, two to four weeks, I will be sharing. So you don't want to miss out. As long as, you, as long as you're on my email list, um, which you can get to by heading to my website, which is zaleybarclay.com, you will get an email about it. And we'll probably be live about it here as well because it's going to be a pretty big deal. <laughs> it's going to be an awesome experience. Yes, you're on the list already. See, I love you guys. I love you guys. So, um, all right. I don't think anyone has any more questions for me. So I will see you guys here next time. Sunday again. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for being here every single Sunday. This is only going to get better and better as our relationship blooms more and more. I love you guys and I will talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Take care guys. Enjoy your week.